I invited food scientist Taylor Wallace back to the show. Food scientist Taylor Wallace. Dr. Taylor Wallace is principal and CEO at the Think Healthy Group, and he's also an adjunct professor at George Mason University. There's no pumpkin in pumpkin spice. If you recall, a few years ago, Starbucks actually got in hot water because their latte actually didn't contain pumpkin. Garlic has been used for literally thousands of years because of its medicinal properties. So what does this have to do with flavor? Well, so there's two main things that you have to worry about in products like egg sandwiches. One is water, because we know water makes things go bad. And two is oxygen, because oxygen oxidizes things. Yeah. So what do we do? We freeze the water, because frozen water can't do much. And then we add nitrogen to the bag or to the package. Prices uh, go high, then you see food shortages uh, really directly impact low uh, income countries. What's really interesting about tannins is that they bind and block sugar from being absorbed in your body. What does that really mean though? Does it mean anything? So, no, actually it's not. Rice is basically just a starch that's really swollen with water. And what this is, is basically Newton's third law. So for every action, there's an equal or opposite reaction. So if you fall over on the floor, you're gonna bounce a little bit just like the rice. <laughs> All right, so that doesn't show any plastic either. Right, this is another example of what I like to call fake food news. You might be surprised, bagged frozen fries are actually cooked multiple times in the manufacturing facility before they're actually put into the bag and sent out to the grocery store. And yes, they're actually fried. That's what gives them the, that wonderful texture that they have when you bite into them. Remember how eggs were bad for you? Yes. Yeah, that was fake news. Um, <laughs> eggs are actually really, really good for right. kids. They have this vitamin called choline okay. uh, in the yolk. And it's very important for brain development. Well, I took a flashback to graduate school, <laughs> Dr. Oz, and I put on my food chemistry hat, went into the lab and made us a couple of examples. Now, the goal here is to really make the flavors pop in your mouth. Bubbles do seem to get the alcohol into your bloodstream at a faster rate. So it's not the total amount of alcohol, it's how fast it hits your body. I believe him. Yeah. Yeah. I, believe I, him. I don't know. I, it's actually a research paper, plus you have anecdotal evidence yourself. Well, you know, it's probably because they're so flavorful and good, you might overconsume them every we'll now We'll toast to that, Taylor. Cheers.